all right so additional information please it's very important that you understand that by doing this process you won't be able to run some uh, apps that requires TPM and secure boot so if you're running an app like Valorant that simply means that your PC has a TPM chipset and that it's just that it is disabled some apps like this Valorant requires TPM and secure boot but not necessarily that all those two requirements are enabled so all right uh, let's jump straight to our Windows 11 so I'm going to open my programs I will copy the Windows 11 to my desktop because that's the easiest destination file where I can easily ac access the Windows 11 without issues so it's up to you guys you might want to save it on a different folder which you know you can comfortably access the folder easily you might want to do that but for me I'm going to put it here on my desktop alright so we've got a Windows 11 now I'm going to create a new folder so that we don't mix other apps with Windows 11 and we don't mess with the process so what we're going to do from here instead of mounting the ISO file we are going to extract the file from here why because we won't be able to um, modify some things or we can make any changes if we are going to mount the Windows 11 directly from our PC so let's just wait for this to run and then we will we'll, we will proceed to the next step alright so we're done really follow this video while I'm doing the process because uh, at the end of this video you could be able to install your Windows 11 without me on the screen so what we're just doing right now is just to you know get on read, getting rid of the restrictions or limitations for us to install the Windows 11 so you guys go to sources and we are looking for the upperseries.dll upperseries.dll all right here we go you can right click on that open with and then go to notepad so here's what you're going to see on this notepad when you scroll down there you go you'll see all the records so we are going to remove all the TPM records and UEFI records. So in order to do so, just control F and type TPM and find next. All right, so you just don't want to remove just the TPM word. You have to remove all the value that TPM serves on that file. So go next, uh, find next. Repeat the same process until you see nothing that says TPM. So we're going to remove this. Remove. Just keep repeating the process until you don't see any TPM records. So just remove the TPM and its values. Remove it. Remove. Just follow me. You can you can follow me while doing this process because we're just removing all the restrictions for us to install Windows 11. Okay, just remove this. Oh, sorry. Um, remove this as well. Just keep doing this and remove all the TPM records. Okay, remove this. Remove TPM and all its values. So remove it. All right, so we're done here. No TPM records found. Okay, 
so next is we're going to remove all the UEFI records so you have to go back to the top so you don't miss the um, some records from the top and just go find next okay remove this one all right seems like we only have one UEFI records so it might be different from from you guys because you know I, I don't know if you install different if you're installing different type of window maybe an old version of Windows 11 so from here we are good to go now what we're going to do is to save this file and you can save it to the same destination folder and just click yes to replace the existing file okay so we're good from here need to exit and just go back now go to setup so click yes and then we're going to wait for the windows 11 to load so all right so you might want to check this or uncheck this but for me i'm going to hit next all right so we're getting the updates just wait for a little moment because it'll take a while to generate all the updates from Windows. So while doing that, I've put a link down in the description. You, you, um, you can just download the Windows 11 directly from the description. But I will show you as well how you can download one from Microsoft. So let's say download Windows, oh, sorry, Windows 11 ISO. Okay, click on that. There you go. All right, so skip on this, skip on this, and go straight directly to download Windows 11 disk ISO. Because you're going to make some changes on its records, you have to download the ISO file. So from here, you can select download and select Windows 11 and select the download button. Okay, so we're good on that. All right, we're here and just scroll down to the bottom and hit accept. So we'll wait for this to load again and then I'll be right back. All right, and we're here. We are ready to install our Windows 11. Make sure that it says keep personal files and apps. If you don't see this, you can check um you can click on this button here change what to keep so it depends on your preference but you are now ready to install the windows 11 so prior to doing this process when you try when you try to window uh, install windows 11 it might say your pc is unsupported please check the requirements to install windows 11 or something different that says you cannot install windows 11 on your pc so for us, because we've done those process and we've removed all the restrictions for us to install Windows 11 on our unsupported PC, now we are ready to install Windows 11. So what you guys need to do is just to click install and Windows 11 will be install, installed on your PC. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. and. Now you're ready to install your Windows 11. So again, this is just for unsupported PC. And if you have some apps running which requires TPM, TPM and a secure boot, and you were able to run it smoothly prior to installing Windows 11, please don't do this. If you want to enable um, TPM and secure boot, but unfortunately you're trying to enable secure boot and it just keeps you coming back to the bias, that's a different story. But I'm going to explain it on my next video all in one. How you can enable secure boot and success successfully without going back to the BIOS again and again. And then install Windows 11 without any issue. You have to go all through this process if your PC is updated like uh, a new setup. Because most t most pieces right now already has a TPM chipset. All you need to do is just enable it and enable secure but and you're good to go. So please be sure to check out my next video and I'll be happy to see you there. Thank you for watching my video.